Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 8. Um, it's called Nebraska. Uh, it's the first episode back after the, I guess, what, two and a half, three month break. Um, and uh, I gotta say, I was worried about this episode going into it, because it was titled Nebraska, which is the title of the Dexter episode from last season. Uh, it was an episode that completely torpedoed um, that season of that show. So I was hoping the same thing wouldn't happen with this one. And it didn't. Uh, which was good. That's the good news. The bad news is that the episode was mediocre. Um, which, after a three-month break, is not what you want. You want to come back swinging. You want to go out swinging and come back swinging. And they they went out swinging with killing off Sophia and that whole thing with the barn and everything, but um, didn't quite come back that way. Um, first, um... I guess I'll get to the, the good stuff, um, which is everything with Herschel and Rick and, um, and, um, Glenn going to the, uh, the bar, well, Rick and Glenn going to the bar to get Herschel out, you know, some really, uh, just well-acted, you know, good stuff, again, uh, between, uh, Andrew Lincoln and, I'm not sure, I don't know the actor that plays Herschel, he's done a good job, uh, it's a great bar scene, um, just, uh, the show does that well, those arguments well. Um, I'm actually not getting tired of those kinds of scenes yet, at least. There are things in the show that I'm getting tired of. That's not one of them, so I don't mind seeing that over and over. Um, so yeah, so I like that whole scene. Um, that was one of the problems, I think, that those kind of scenes is one of the problems people thought this show was going to have week in, week out, that, you know, how can they do this week in and week out, you know, so they got to mix stuff up. Um, but yeah, but anyway, uh, I was really, really happy to see, um, guy from True Blood showing up, um, I was really happy to see him, I was like, oh, he was great on True Blood for the first season, he played Renee on, uh, True Blood, and now, um, and then I was extremely disappointed to, um, see him killed off, and I was like, okay, I guess the point of it was to show that there's still some unity, um, uh, I guess... In the long run, it felt kind of, I don't know, useless. Um, and they, they were able to drop the information that whatever fort they're looking for isn't there anymore. So, yeah, hooray, you know. Um, you know, everything sucks. Yay. Um, yeah, but that whole part of the episode was good. It was well done. Um, that was it. Everything else is mediocre. That part was good. Everything else is mediocre. Um... Shane, I like Shane as a character. I like that he's kind of walking around with, like, this face. Like, this, like, like just, you know, I'm an asshole face, but pretty much. Um, uh, but I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to seeing where he's going to go. Um, what's his name? Dale is pissing me off because he's just questioning everything. And even though he might be right, even though you know, what Shane did for to Otis was bad, I mean, you know, hell, he did it and he was trying to get back to, um, to Rick's son to help him. Or maybe he was trying to save his ass. Whatever. Um, but the point is you can't have walkers in a barn. Um, so, yes, it was gruesome and it was screwed up. But, you know, it was a wake-up call that these characters needed. Um, so I'm glad to see that pretty much everyone is on Shane's side except for... Um, uh, except for Dale. Because uh, even why Rick doesn't like the way Shane did it, you know... Rick went back to get Herschel, so I think everyone's going to be on the same page again, at least for now. Uh, so that part of it is good. Uh, they still didn't give T-Dog anything to do. He got to burn the bodies, so his character is just, you know, background. Maybe when they start killing people off, he'll move to the uh, forefront or whatever. I don't know. Um, I like Maggie and Glenn. I really like where that's going. Uh, kind of wondering if that's going to end badly this year or if she's going to end up going off with them because they're not going to stay at the farm, you know. Um into, like, season three, so either she's gonna be going with them, or he's gonna be staying there, or, you know, I, I don't, I don't see her just leaving the show, unless she gets killed off. Um, let's see what else. You got another person probably burning up, probably got scratched, uh, during the little zombie attack in the beginning of the episode. The one lone zombie attack at the beginning of the episode. Um... And I know this might be a problem with some people that it wasn't very heavy on zombies and everything like that, but this was kind of the cleanup episode, you know, which, again, you'd like to come back with a little more, like, fire than, than that, especially 
you know, you look in the audience of the show that's saying the show's got to move its ass, and it didn't really move its ass last night. It just kind of, it kind of was setting the stage again. Um, so really bad things have to happen at this farm really, really soon. Because now we got five episodes left in the season, and all five, I think, need to be um, pretty outrageous. Next week ha doesn't have to be, you know, full, full like, ratcheted up to, you know, like a season finale kind of feeling. But the last four have to be. And certainly the last three have to The last three should be... There should be no downtime coming up. Everything should be chaotic as we get into the end of the year, so... I'm hoping that's what they're going to do. Um, but yeah. Uh, Carl's doing nothing but like sleeping all season. That's that's useless. Lori goes, oh, just go inside and rest. He's been sitting in a bed all year. Okay, we can't give him dialogue, so we'll just, you know, uh, whatever. Um, oh, Daryl is pissed off again. I still like Daryl. I mean, where, where are you going to go with that? He'll probably... I don't know what they're going to do with him. Um... What's her name's mother had a nice little uh, speech, and the show still does those like little moments well, uh, those like sad moments, you know, her thinking about you know her daughter dying somewhere. It was sad, and just not saying goodbye because what was killed wasn't her daughter. Her daughter died a while ago. You know, it was sad. It was well done. Um, so that stuff is good. Um, there's good things about the show. They just they're not. Um, the combination of, you know, probably the background drama with Darabont, the idea that the farm setting isn't that exciting as, you know, as a standalone. Um, you know, you want to maybe go to a setting on this show where, which I know there's stuff in the comic books where there's other settings you'll be going to, settings where even without the zombies it's still interesting. Um, the farm isn't. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the stupidest thing in the episode was Lori driving to go find Rick, and I'm like, okay, there's no point in you doing this. They'll come back eventually. So now you're just gonna go off on your own. It's just dumb, first of all. And then, you know, her car flips, and my reaction to it was just like, you know, uh, uh, who cares? I don't care. It's like, it wasn't like, oh, I can't wait to see where they go with this. I'm like, oh, great. You know, this is a problem. Um, whatever. It's, I don't know. Maybe something good will come out of it. You know, if she loses the baby, maybe she'll lose, like, the baby. That'll be how they drop that storyline, uh, which would kind of be a cop-out. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, if I sound disappointed with the show, I, I am, because I just... I mean, I'm watching the show last night, and I'm thinking, like, when does Game of Thrones come back? When does Breaking Bad come back? Hell, even when does True Blood come back, you know? True Blood is a show that it's it's all over the place. It's a complete and utter mess, but it's still entertaining. It's, you know, complete, like, garbage, but it's entertaining garbage. Walking Dead doesn't have that luxury because it's depressing. I don't want to watch depressing unless it's also, you know, well done. This show is not all around well done, so when it's not all around well done, we just get something depressing. I don't want to sit here and watch that. You know. The only reason why I like Aronofsky movies, even though they're they're depressing, they're still well done. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, so I, th I guess, I don't know. What I want for the rest of the season, I want them to either get off the farm or something substantial to happen at the farm with zombies. Because um, they've been holding off the zombie stuff for a while now. I mean, they had the shootout with the barn, but they've been holding a lot of stuff off. So, um, yeah, please get going. Please get going. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, that's it for, for this one. I'll be back next week with another one of these. And, uh, yeah. Alright. Later, guys.